we have a very interesting colony of, of animals that lives there during the summertime. It's a group of Mexican free-tailed bats that wintered in Mexico somewhere. We don't know where it is. We'd like to know where, where it is. Uh, but this colony comes up here about the middle of April and stays until probably the middle of September and lives down in, in the mine itself. And the colony is anywhere from 100,000 to 250,000 animals, depending upon the year and how, how, how well they have survived the winter. Um, but they're quite spectacular to see if you come down here of an evening. Um, they come out of the uh, stope over there on the side of the hill, and it's like smoke coming out of a chimney for 25 or 30, 40 minutes. There was a jaguar that lived in this area uh, to about two or three years ago. His name was Macho B, and he was known to come and, and visit this area. We have, foot, we have footprints of his that were saved, and we know from camera work that he was in this area. That appeals to us also as a, that this is a, uh, a conservation easement area for, for, for animals like that. There were two different murder episodes down here, and both of them took place in the in the mercantile, which is the old uh, uh, ruin up on the hill to, to my right. There were various uh, stories that there was maybe gold kept there, but in any event, two people were killed then, and those people were never were never were never caught. And the next people that had the mercantile, two of them were also were also murdered. Those two men were captured and taken to Tucson. One of them did escape in an automobile. They were being taken to Florence to be, uh, to be uh, uh, taken to, the, to then the federal penitentiary up there, probably for execution. There was, an, there was an accident on the way up there. One of them escaped. The other one was actually taken up and was executed. And this is also information that's in a book that's called Ruby, Mining, Mayhem, and Murder, which was co-authored by two ret now retired engineers, Bob and Al Ring, who live in Tucson, and a woman, Taya Cahoon, who is our, who is our historian and who's, who was born here at Ruby. But they have put together a very factual account of, of the place, and the book is available here uh, at Ruby or at, through the, uh, I think, the bookstore at the University of Arizona.